What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video of TechPress. In today's tutorial, let's analyze, let's talk about the best place to work into just one, in one freaking application, the best way to collaborate for desktop or your mobile. This one is called the Notion. So if you go and focus into Notion.so, this one should be taking us into the main section of Notion. So the very first thing you want to do is to hit into login. And here into the section that says login, what I want to do is to either choose uh, whatever kind you want to do, let's say for example an email, a Google account, whatever. So in my case, I already been signed it in. What I wanted to do is to actually log out. And then I'm going to be showing you the process of how we can get started here into Notion. So once again, I'm going to click here into log in. I'm going to head into continue with Google. And what I wanted to do is to get started with a actual new account. So I'm going to try to do this here. And as you can see, it says login into Notion. And now I'm already been inside Notion. So as you can see, we do have a lot of templates that we can use totally for free. What I wanted to do to be eligible, uh, even I can get a free education plan for individuals. And how you can get this, how you can get access to everything totally for free, focus into this element that says get the education plan. And here, as you can see, we have the free plan. The free plan, I'm going to uh, delete this element for just a few elements here. Now, I'm going to focus here into the plans. Here, as you can see, we have the education plan plus plan that uh, is going to be taking like zero dollars. This is the education plan. This includes unlimited blocks, Slack, uh, 30 days page history, invited to 100 guests, and we have Notion artificial intelligence. We have the plus plan, we have the business plan, and we have the enterprise plan. So how do we make sure that we do have these version enabled? You make sure that you have now contact this guy so you can get the education plus plan for free. But uh, the only limited stuff that I can be telling you is that this one is only available for one active member. So if you're working for yourself, I believe that Notion is going to be helping you in almost everything. But if you're going to be using this for more than was more than one active member, I believe that you might need to improve or choose another plan to continue. So how we can get started here? What I wanted to do is to go back here. I'm going to try to click into this element that says create a template. So um, if I choose templates, this should be taking me into the all the templates that is available into the Notion. So all of these elements are totally for free. If I choose something that I kind of like, let's say for example that I want to see this presentation, I can choose to get template. So the process is actually really, really simple. Let's say for example that I wanted to check it out, uh, some to-do list for example here, and I have some to-dos, here's all tasked, here's how it's going to be looking, the board, the mind, the timeline, and made by Notion. So what I can totally recommend to you is to look out here for the product that you, the, the first of all, you want to check it out, what you want to are interested in. For example, sales, or for example, human resources, engineering, design, and much more. So let's say that I wanted to make some design portfolio. So check it out here. So use this template to showcase the product you've worked and provide remote context into the purpose of this uh, process involved here. I have here the gallery view, I scroll a little bit down, email me, call me, my resume. So if you like that, just get into get the template. And automatically here it should be appearing here into the left part, the template so we can get started here to edit it. So for example, I can even change the cover if you wanted to. So let's say that I want to change this new color gradient or I can choose this element. There we go. And then later on, what I wanted to do is to, let's say, select this element. I'm going to delete it because I don't want to see actually this element. I can delete this. I hit into remove. And now design portfolio, you can type your name. Let's say, for example, Tom Evans. Now into Notion tip, I click this element. Uh, let's go for, let's say, this one. And I click here and I delete it. Let's say that welcome to my portfolio 2023. So I'm going to delete now these three elements. I hit into the enter mark. But if you wanted to delete this, I mean, you can just click here and I can go into delete, right? So the process is not that hard. 
there. So hi, my name is, uh, let's go for Tom. I'm a web designer based on out of San Francisco. Click here to purchase creation goals and current versions. So these are just like an example of what you can do here. So if you don't want to see anything like this, like this uh, instruction, just click once again into drag it, hit into delete. And here I can start to import my elements. For example, let's say that I click here into the web redesign UI UX and I click here into the edit. And instead of let's go for, uh, let's go YouTube 2023. Uh, I'm gonna hit here into text express, for example, here. Add your link here. I'm gonna edit my URL. And let's go for triple W YouTube.com, right? So tax here, I'm gonna go for I can design. I delete this element and there we go. So I click here into the three dots. And now as you can see, we have the rename, the edit property, the open inside peak, uh, opening it into a new tab. So what I want to do now is just to click into this dot where I can take it out like more elements here for my actual, uh, let's say my task or in this case, like my showcase, right? So instead of choosing, let's go for add a cover. Actually it looks really, really great. Uh, here into Notion tip, once again, I click here, I delete this Notion tip, the idea, and here I wanted to explain the process of my actual uh, of my actual work. Now we have the artificial intelligence uh, generation, so we can just go for fast forward slash, and here let's go ask AI to write, and here let's say ask AI to write a description write a job description about content creation of YouTube and here I'm going to go for specify that I love to make thumbnails and YouTube profile pictures and I have worked uh, since 2018 so now I hit into send to AI and automatically we do have the overview, the response to the qualifications. I mean, everything has now been added automatically. So this is an amazing, actual great tool to do here. So I'm gonna hit now into done and there we go. So as you can see, we have the overview as a content creator for our YouTube channel will be responsible for producing, engaging the high quality, the responsibilities, the sign in qualifications. If you have a love for YouTube content creation, have been involved into this field, we encourage you to apply for this position. This is how guys we can uh, emulate uh, a really, really great portfolio. We can do so much more than that. As you can see, this is my own journal. I have the actual reading list of what I need to read. Uh, books that I have loved here, I can change the score of my ratings, the status here, AI name, the type. I have tasks for Instagram, I have tasks for socials, I have lots of projects to be done here. And I have some personal home stuff like doing the laundry, movie list, receipts, yearly goals. So templates are going to be helping you a lot to get started here into Notion. So uh, hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Have fun here into Notion. Really, really amazing place to get started here and to manage your daily life stuff here. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools that can be helping you into your daily life. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. And I'll see you next time.